Hi guys, Shagun here with another video from my HTC Magic. Uh, presenting you a really cool application today. This is called TouchPal. You see I don't have the regular Android based uh, or HTC keyboard. I got a new one. And this is the Touch TouchPal keyboard which you get for free from the Android market. And this is really a great application because to show you first you got three different layouts. You got this one right here. You can easily swipe to get to this. And you can also swipe another um, Oops. Just swipe and you get full QWERTY. Same works in landscape. Here you got this one. Swipe to get to this and swipe another time to get to the full QWERTY. Now, before I show you uh, further information about the keyboard itself, let's go into the settings here. You can uh, enable auto correct just like on the Android. You can uh, make it recognize words, make it guess what you want to write next and give you proposals for that. Um, choose layout, what you want to have in QWERTY mode, uh, in landscape mode, what kind of keyboard you want to have in portrait mode. And you can also download different language packs from the market which you can enable here and choose between them. Let's go back here. You can, if you press here, you can uh, simply uh, choose the language pack. You can easily switch from one language to another. Let's stay English here. So, and the cool thing about this is if you have the dictionary enabled, which you see this button right here, it is really very forgiving. For example, if I want to write how and I press each letter wrong, for example, I press instead of A, H, I press J, P, E. Oh, wait, let's give it another try. J, P, H, E. I press J P H E instead of a, instead of H O W, and it still got me how right. So let's write a sentence here. You see, I pressed some various mistakes, but it still auto corrected them. And the, uh, another great thing about this, if I here press the space bar after writing it, it guesses what words I want to write next. Maybe I want to write how are you doing uh, up, how are you doing with, so let's tap with. How are you doing with respect, maybe I want to write to some of importance. So it gives me suggestions what possible words um, I want to write next. Um, another cool thing about this is if you want to get the symbols beneath the letters you see here like the question mark beneath the G, you press the button and swipe down. So if I press the U and swipe down I get the 7. If I press the H and swipe down I get this. The, the V This is really cool to have easy access and fast access to the symbols so you don't have to switch to another uh, pad, you just swipe down and this is very handy and very easy. If I press I get the G, if I press down I get the question mark. This works also in the other layouts I got here, in this as well as in this right here. Let's get to another layout here. So this is um, a very good layout here. For example, if I want to write same sentence. How are you doing? Or now it corrects Gwen are you doing uh, sometimes. Uh, so you don't have to, if you turn off dictionary, you just um, have to write as you would have guessed with typing twice or once, tw typing twice to get the second letter, typing once to get the first letter. With the dictionary it auto guesses for you what you want to write. You don't have to press twice any of these letters. 
Same if I go to the, this layout right here and turn it landscape. How are you doing? Uh, you can also go to symbol pad. You got here the easy numbers. Some more symbols. Smileys. Go back. Dictionary off. Change language. Start typing German. So this is really a great application. Uh, I use it instead of the Android keyboard. And I think really it's superior to the Android one. And you get it for free from the market, check it out, TouchPal it's called, great application, really worth a try. Thank you for watching.